Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you three new DIY Dollar Tree Valentine decor items. If you missed my other video, I will link it down below where I show you six DIY Valentine decor items. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe. So now on to the tutorial. First up is this love frame and I love how this looks. For this project, I am using an 8x10 photo frame from the Dollar Tree. Also, I'm going to be using white Bristoleum primer. I'm going to be using this love printout that I made. I do have it available on my website for you to download. I have both versions here, a pink and black one and a red and white one, so you can use either one. If you use the pink and black one, then you can actually use a black photo frame for it, but I really wanted to use the red and white one for this video. And I will link down below where you can download those. I'm going to start off by taking my frame and removing the backing, the inside, and the glass frame from it. Next, I'm going to take my white primer and spray paint my photo frame with it. Once my frame is dry, I'm going to insert my image into the frame. I need to put the glass back in it and then I will put my image on top of the glass and then I will put the backing back on. And I really like this backing because you can either hang it or you can go ahead and sit it on a tabletop or bookshelf. So this is the finished sign and I really think that it is super cute. Next up is this carved candle. I really love this as well. Using a white candle from the Dollar Tree. Also, I'm going to be using some gold metallic paint. This is acrylic paint by Folk Art. And I'm also going to be using some paint brushes, a ballpoint pen, a piece of paper, and a pair of scissors. So my piece of paper is folded in half, and I'm going to go ahead and draw a heart, a half of a heart onto the paper. And then I'm gonna use my scissors and cut that shape out to make a complete heart. Next, I'm going to take my little heart template and place it on top of my candle, and I am going to hold it in place. If you have some double-sided tape, it will work much better, but I don't have any for this video. And I am going to use a marker and trace it out. I tried with the ballpoint pen, and it did not quite um, make the outline, so I did get a marker to outline with. So now that my heart is outlined onto my candle, I am taking a ballpoint pen and I am putting pressure on it. And as I do this and I trace out the heart, I am actually carving out the heart and it's making an indentation in the candle. Also, I am carving out a D and the plus sign and another D in the middle of the candle. Now that I have everything carved out, I am using that metallic gold paint and I'm going ahead and filling in everything that I carved out. And here is the finished candle. This love sign is the last project. I'm going to show you how I made. This is the one that does take the longest, but I really like how it looks. For this project, I am using this Dollar Tree sign that I picked up around Christmas time. I am going to be using the back side of it. I also have this love printout that I will have available for you to download on my blog. You can find the link down below. I'm going to be using paintbrushes, chalk, a foam brush. Also, I'm going to be using red glitter. This red glitter didn't come from the Dollar Tree, but they do sell the red glitter in the small packets. I'm going to be using some Mod Podge. This bottle did not come from the Dollar Tree, but they do sell the smaller bottles for, of course, only a dollar. I'm also going to be using some chalk paint. This is in the color Fluff, and I'm also going to be using the color Ink in Waverly brand. I'm going to actually mix the two together to make a light gray. If you have a gray paint, then go ahead and use your gray paint. Also going to be using a hot glue gun. So I'm going to take that Dollar Tree Christmas sign, and I am going to use the back side of it for my project. Since I'm not going to be hanging up my sign, I want to get rid of this hole, so I'm going to be using my hot glue gun and just going ahead and filling it up with hot glue. So now I'm going to take my white paint and my black paint, and I'm going to go ahead and mix that together to make a light gray. As I previously mentioned, if you have light gray already, then go ahead and use that. I just do not have any on hand. I'm using my foam brush to paint my sign with, and I only needed one coat. If you use acrylic paint, then you might need to use two coats. So now I'm going to make my sign look a little bit distressed. I am taking a paint brush, and I'm going to be wiping off the excess, and then I'm going to be dry brushing that white paint onto my sign. And I'm making sure my strokes are going in the same direction, and I am lightly 
taking my paintbrush and putting it across my sign. If you feel like you get a little bit too much in one spot, then you can always take your original color and go back over it. I really like how this gives it a bit of extra character. Now I'm going to take that love printout, turn it over and take my chalk and run that along the back side of my image. I am making sure that I get it all over each letter and the heart. I have a lot of the chalk shavings, so I'm just gonna dump that into the trash. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my printout and put it on top of my wooden sign here. I am going to use a little bit of painter's tape to keep it in place. Now I'm gonna take my ballpoint pen and I'm gonna go ahead and trace out each letter and heart. And when I do this, it's actually transferring that chalk onto the board beneath it. So after I'm finished tracing it out, I do remove the paper and there is the love transferred onto my board. Now I'm gonna take my white chalk paint and fill in all my letters, except for the heart. I did have to do a couple coats over my lettering. Now to finish the heart, I am going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to go ahead and fill the entire heart up with Mod Podge. Next, I'm gonna take my red glitter and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that over my wet Mod Podge. Then I'm going to go ahead and dump that excess glitter onto a plain piece of paper. So to finish up this project, I waited for my glue to dry and then I went ahead and put another coat of Mod Podge over my glitter. And this is just to keep the glitter from shedding off and don't worry that it looks white, it will dry clear. And after it is dry, it's ready to be displayed. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, bye.